It's Monday, December the 14th, and I'm here in my prayer closet. Literally, it is my closet, um, but it's where I share time um, with the Lord in here, and so this is my, my favorite place to be. Um, but we're going to be discussing the book of Jonah. Um, it was from our one-year reading this morning. And so I want to talk a little bit about the story behind the story of Jonah. Most of us know the story of Jonah, and so I want to just talk a minute about um, probably how Jonah was before the Lord called him. So Jonah is a prophet. He is in most likely Jerusalem, surrounded um, by the prophets there, the, the priests, um, the royalty, um, the important people where all the word is being taught. Um, so he's just surrounded by his own people. Um, I'm sure he was in comfort. Uh, it was easy to speak the same language as the people there. Um, Life, I'm sure, was very easy and comfortable for Jonah at this time. Um, he didn't have to like stretch himself as far as let's learn a new language, let's learn about a new people, um, let's go to a different place, let's occupy a different house, um, let's eat different food. Um, he was just kind of in a life of ease and comfort, um, and I'm sure he was enjoying that lifestyle. And so um, when God speaks to him and says, Jonah, arise and go to Nineveh. I'm sure Jonah was just thinking, oh my goodness, you know, here I've got everything I need. I'm in, I'm in the, like the lap of luxury as far as culture and comfort go. And God, you're going to call me out to a people that I don't know their language. I don't know their culture. I don't know their lifestyle. I don't even like these people. They're not even my people. Um, they don't think the same. They don't act the same. They don't talk the same. And are you seriously asking me to get up and leave this and go there? Uh, I don't know, Lord. And so Jonah gets up and he says, you know what? All right, God, I'm going to, I'm going to partially obey you. I'm going to go, I'm going to rise up and go. Um, but I'm going to go to somewhere that I think is more comfortable somewhere that I think I would probably, you know, do better and like enjoy the people more and, you know, probably continue to feed on and feed off of what I'm used to with my life. And so I'm just going to go on into a different city. So we all know what happens. Jonah starts off for it. He involves people in the boat. They have to go through his um, tempestuous sea and the, the things that are going on in, in his life because he's rebelling against the Lord. And so finally gets thrown uh, overboard and a big old well swallows him and Jonah repents and he gets vomited out on this on this this other place and he goes to Nineveh and so here in Nineveh he's like going through the city repent 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 turn God's gonna destroy it I don't know that he really ever thought that they would repent um, and so he goes off and he sits back and watches the city and as he's watching the city he gets really hot you know, this isn't his lifestyle. This isn't his little bedroom. This isn't his closet where he can enjoy himself and spend time alone with the Lord and, you know, just get fed and ministered to and hear all the great things, you know, from people that speak his own language. But he's sitting out in the heat and it isn't pleasant. And I'm sure he was doing a lot of complaining. And so the, sw the sweetness of the Lord, he allows this gourd, this shade to come up over Jonah and it covers him. And, you know, he's probably thinking, yeah, this is the lifestyle I'm used to, you know, just a shade covering me and, and the presence of the Lord everywhere. And, you know, just the, the goodness of God overshadowing me and, you know, those comforts that we really do enjoy. Like when we get saved and when we start walking with the Lord, it does feel like this, this this cloud is over us and this protection and this shade and it's so easy to want to live in that place and to stay in that place like I could stay in my prayer closet all day literally I could stay in here all day um, and be just fine and happy um, but as this gourd is coming shading over Jonah then the Lord prepares a worm to eat the gourd and it eats the gourd and the shade's gone and and the Lord's like Jonah why are you why are you angry for the gourd and Jonah's like well this gourd didn't do nothing this gourd was great it was shadowing me and shading me and protecting me from this awful heat and um the Lord said you know what and this is how I felt like the Lord was saying to me today you know what you care more about the gourd 
and the shade it provides for you, then you care about these people and the shade and the protection I want to provide for them. So, you know, the Lord just really hit me with that truth today. It's so easy for us to be in a comfortable position, in a place where we feel close to the Lord, and just think, you know what, I just want to live here all the time. I never want to leave this place. I want to stay in this comfort, in this place of ease and tranquility and, and joy with the Lord. And, you know, when He asks us to get up, to rise up and go, it's hard. It's really, really hard, especially to go to a people or a place that we don't know, that we're uncomfortable with, that we don't know um, what the culture is going to be like. We don't even know the language, the food. None of it is, is going to be in our comfort zone. And how dare the Lord ask us to get up and leave this place of ease. But I want to challenge us. Guys, we've got to quit sitting in our comfort zone. We've got to quit sitting in the place where we feel like I'm getting fed and it's all about me. And, and we need to go to where God is calling us to go, to a people that have never heard about him, a people that we don't know, but God knows them. And he's saying, I want you to go and share my shade and my comfort and my mercy over them. And let's quit feeling that. I feel like I just got to say this. I feel like many of us are stirred that the Spirit of God is stirring us to get up and go and get out of our comfort zone. And so our thought is, well, you know what? I don't want to go there because I don't know that I'd be too comfortable there. So let me just go down the street. Let me go to another people that I really probably would connect with and enjoy and just continue to get fed and minister with people that are easy. And y'all, it's never good that way. We're never on mission to what the Lord wants us to be on. When we decide to do that, we're, we're literally in rebellion. So I want to challenge you, and I want to encourage you. We've sat in our seat and our comfort long enough. The Lord's coming back soon. Get up and go. In Jesus' name, I love you.